See those comments rolling past? Yeah, keep leaving supportive comments and I'll choose some to be featured every now and again on the next episodes. So, you guys ready for top 5 underrated YouTubers number 32? Remember guys, there's a form in the description below where you can submit yourself, you can submit your friend, you can submit your friend's mother, you can submit your neighbour, you can submit your neighbour's dog, you know. Just anyone that you feel is an underrated YouTuber, submit them in the form below and I'll check them out and they may be featured in this series. Next to the subscription button on my channel, there is a notification bell and we'll give YouTube the benefit of a doubt here and say that they'll send you notifications every time I upload an underrated YouTubers. Number 5 Max Dirt Brax is one of those names that just rolls off the tongue, isn't it? Well, it's good to see him rolling through those indie games as well. <laughs> <laughs> Brax has only been uploaded for three months, but within that time, he has gained a fan base as well as bringing some wicked content. Brax focuses his channel on indie horror games with those priceless reactions that we all strive for when watching these videos. I got quite a down to earth vibe from Brax as he's just a dude sharing his passion for horror games as well as sharing the moments with his viewers. Oh, I just noticed he's playing Bendy the Ink Machine recent. I completely forgot! The final chapter is out. I really need to get onto that. Okay, if you need an honest dude to make your day even better, then try max out Brad as a tuber. All right, let's see. Where are we? Um, I'm not sure where we actually left off. Collect five ink hearts. Use the lift to descend to the depths. Okay, so I'm going all the way to the bottom floor. I do remember that much. I'm assuming it's level 14. Honestly, I don't. Number four. It's honestly amazing to see Pokemon still driving fans today as it's been around since just after I was born. I mean, we all know what happens to most things that stick around too long. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the idea that all ages now enjoy Pokemon collecting due to the old and new generations having Pokemon in their childhood. Corey's Nerd Corner is all about the collecting of Pokemon cards and hey, it's funny, I've never had a card collector on the series before. Quite surprising considering how big card collecting is on YouTube. Corey started off with Pokemon Go when that was a craze to now opening just about everything that has Pokemon cards in it. Corey opens EX boxes, booster packs, elite trainer boxes, Pokemon decks, you name it. What? I, I didn't say that. Uh, that's just the NZ accent. How rude. This is why I hate saying decks. Uh, 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 look, never mind. If you're Pokemon card crazy and enjoy watching unboxings with those fan reactions to decent cards, then Corey's channel would be fit for you. Welcome back to the channel. Bring you guys another Pokemon pack opening. Today we're doing the Ultra Necrozma GX collection box. I have not done this one. I wanted the figure and I will be doing the Legends of Unova here soon so yeah this box i have not done yet which i'm really excited to do because the figure of this one is probably like one of the best number three Ben Lemos is a Californian vlogger that loves to film and just have plain fun with life. With Ben's vlogs you'll find all sorts of funny, strange and not so ordinary things happening around him. And no, chilling in a spa with pink flamingos is more than the norm for him, so uh, maybe try the bottle flipping then puking on the Hollywood sign instead as a discussion. If you can think of something to do with a camera, Ben has just about done them all. We're talking about music videos, reaction videos, general vlogs, challenges, setting up a tent in someone's backyard and uh, what's this, Jack Paul pumpkin carving? Wait, what? Well, I guess you can expect just about anything from Ben Lemus. Truly an underrated YouTuber, I guess. I mean, he has 400 plus subscribers. This is truly a tuber you probably want to sub to. Oh, and he's a pretty sweet skateboarder as well. <laughs> can you really not taste it? No. Then chew on it, and then that'll give you the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to chew on it. What is it? I don't know. You have to guess. What's your guess? I have no idea. Okay, put it in there. Poop. Close. Anchovies. Oh, I taste it. I'll put poop down. Oh! Number two. 
I've been watching Aiden on and off for quite a while. I mean, I remember when he did heaps of vlogs with his brother, and then like most YouTubers, Fork Knife took over. <laughs> Aiden has come such a long way though, so big ups to you, man. You have become quite a talented tuber. I like the way Aiden presents his channel with a clean banner and thumbnails, along with high quality editing. I was watching one of Aiden's recent build battle videos, and dude, you can seriously build. Compared to a lot of other YouTubers I've seen, it's pretty talented. I see that Fortnite is something you have adapted on your channel, and it seems to be paying off very nicely. I have mixed thoughts on sticking to one thing on YouTube, but considering most gaming YouTubers have made this mood, I don't see any repercussions uh, if this game was to, you know, dare I say it? No, 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 better not. It would crack quite a whole new discussion, and this video has no time for it. Aiden's main focus at the moment, it seems, is funny moments and showing gameplay of Fortnite, along with checking out rare cosmetics, etc. within the game. I know quite a few of you are still Fortnite driven, so take a look at some of Aiden's speed building for me, would you? It's number one. Unfortunately everyone, I need to start off the number one spot with a bit of a heavier note. Stu is a father who came to me with a long page on the backstory of him and his son's channel, Sloangi and Stu. Stu explained that recently his lungs gave out and came very close to losing his life. By chance it was his nine year old son that managed to save his life. Stu said that after coming out of his coma and whilst having to learn to walk again, he was able to reflect on the universe around him. Considering for most people their lives are going so fast, they don't take the time to do any self-reflection, including of recent sadly myself. Stu decided to ask his son if there was anything he wanted to do as kind of like a father-son thing in case something were to happen again. Surprisingly for Stu, his son wanted to build a YouTube channel with him. Stu as a father felt there were amazing opportunities for both of them, like spending time together, learning a little bit of business, learning about electronic software for editing etc and overall of course having fun with dad. Stu was once a famed player of Battlefield 1942 ranking second on the world leaderboards for PC. It has been a huge change for Stu as he's been learning to play on a controller now as his son Slongi wanted the channel console based. The pair have managed to create an amazing 400 videos ready for uploading. Seven months down the track they have already put around 200 and 50 videos up on the channel. With 840 subs and counting, Slongi and Stu is a family oriented channel that has been recently very focused on Destiny 2 and a Minecraft story modes playthrough. I feel this is a heart warmer for you guys and might even be a wake up to many of us who are going super fast with our lives that we don't always think about self reflection and looking around at those who are right in front of us that we care most about, even knowing that it can finish at any moment. Thank you Stu and Slongi for sharing your story with me, it was definitely an eye opener as I hope it is to many of my viewers. I honestly congratulate you and give you the best of luck for the future as the number one YouTuber of this episode. This is Akuma Stu from the Slongi and Stu YouTube channel. I'm here with... Slongi, this is a Netter Live Destiny co-op gameplay. And what do you think our goal should be for you for this round, Slongi? Well, I got... I usually just get around 5 and 4 a lot. I'm thinking I could try to boost it to a 6. Okay, let's try and make that happen. Some of these people seem familiar from other times we've done this. Yeah, when rounds are close, you seem to end up with very similar people to play against and play with. Yep. And Sand Man, who used to be on the enemy team, I think. Right? Yeah, I think he was. Well, now he's on ours, and we're already winning, but don't see we're gonna win no matter what. There's still a chance they can make a comeback, right, Stu? There's always a chance. Look after yourselves, people, and slow down every once in a while to appreciate, you know, the people around you, and of course, say hello to your neighbor as well. You never know, you might make a friend. With all that being said, as always, comment who came up as your favorite YouTuber this episode. You may be shown as a comment in the next episode. <laughs>